What's cracking guys? In case you're wondering, my hat is here just to keep my brains from exploding all around my apartment. You're gonna see why in a couple of seconds. Basically, uh, a couple of hours ago, Sam Altman of OpenAI fame tweeted excited for today, very suspicious. But then again, to everyone in the machine learning field, this was kind of an obvious hint. And a couple of hours later, surprise, surprise, GPT-4 was announced. And the fun thing here is that it's actually a multimodal model. So it's not just your text model scaled 100 or 1000 x or whatever people expected. It's basically a multimodal model. And let me kind of show you the, the, the video. We might see a couple of interesting things here. So additionally, the context length is way, way, way longer. I think they support up to 25,000 words in, their, uh, in the model that has the, the biggest, uh, like, uh, uh, I guess, context length. Let me find a couple of examples where they pass in an image. So here you can see they can pass in huge articles. Uh, you can imagine how, how, how many 25,000 words is. Uh, so here they pass in an image, they ask a question and out comes an answer. So this is now a visual language model, not just a language model. So yeah, it's basically super hyped up. Uh, Twitter exploded. You can see this tweet. Um, I think this tweet from, from OpenAI is now counting 30,000 likes. Uh, and you can also see Karpati retweeted this. Uh, I, I managed to make a stupid meme here. So so yeah, uh, things are looking very, very interesting. Uh, so I think um, Zaremba here, uh, one of the co-founders of OpenAI, shared this probably cherry-picked example. I don't know, we still don't know how the actual model is gonna operate once it's released uh, and people use it in the wild. But this is fairly impressive. Like you can see this image and you can be fairly certain that the model didn't see a lot of these images in the training data set. Like I, I, I would be surprised if, 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 if this is like a common thing in, I guess this is New York City or whatnot. And so you can see the output here is the unusual thing about this image is that a man is ironing clothes on an ironing board attached to the roof of a moving taxi, which is a fairly accurate description of what was going on here. Fairly, fairly impressive. And then Sam had a thread analyzing some of the improvements. Maybe we can start here and then I'm gonna walk you through the blogs and also kind of, kind of sk I'm gonna kind of skim through the technical report, uh, AKA paper. So Sam says, here is uh, GPT-4, our most capable and aligned models uh, yet. It is available today in our API with a wait list and in ChatGPT Plus. So you have to be a paying customer to get uh, the, the access to the new GPT-4. Additionally, keep in mind that uh, you will not be able to pass in the images just yet because it's still a very alpha feature and they're rolling it out in a controlled manner to only certain customers. That's as, as far as I understood it. And then he says it's still flawed, still limited, and it still seems more impressive on first use than it does after you spend more time with it. Uh, which is, I guess, something like you kind of have this pink period where everything looks cool and then you start using it, it's not as good, but, but yeah, still impressive. Okay, then he says, it is more creative than previous models, it hallucinates significantly less, we'll see some of the metrics a bit later, and it is less biased. It can pass a bar exam and score a five on several AP exams. There is a version with a 32,000 token context. Don't worry if you don't know all of the names of these exams, it doesn't really even matter that much. Uh, we are previewing visual input for GPT-4. Uh, we will need some time to mitigate the safety challenges. So that's what I already said. And this is a fun fact. So we now support a system message in the API that allows developers and soon, soon ChatGPT users to have significant customization of behavior. If you want an AI that always answers you in the style of Shakespeare or in JSON, now you can have that. So until now we kind of had, these were usually proprietary information companies such as OpenAI, Microsoft tried to hide them from us. And then uh, creative folks all around the Twitter uh, used to jailbreak these models in order to reveal the system prompt. Now you actually have access to the system prompt itself. You can customize it for your own use case. Um, and then what else? So they are open sourcing OpenAI evals, the framework for automated uh, evaluation of AI model performance to allow anyone to help improve our models. We'll soon see that everything else pretty much is hidden in the paper. There are no details whatsoever about how they train this, the hardware, etc., etc. And then the final uh, tweet here, we, we have had initial training of GPT-4 done for quite a while. I think it was actually the summer of last year, so it's been fairly long time ago. 
Um, and so they took a lo long time to just test it and release it. We hope you enjoy it and we really appreciate feedback on these shortcomings, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's kind of the preliminary information. Now let's, let's switch to the actual blog. Let me start here. So here's a couple of examples. So the first one, this is kind of cool. Explain the plot of Cinderella in a sentence where each word has to begin with the next letter in the alphabet from A to Z without repeating any letters. And surprise, surprise, if you go through the words, you actually get all of the letters of the alphabet enumerated in order, which is fairly impressive. A beautiful Cinderella dwelling eagerly finally gains happiness. Now, about the semantics, I'm not sure whether this makes sense. Maybe to a native English speaker, this, this makes more sense than to me, but it's still fairly impressive. And I think ChatGPT used to fail on this particular uh, uh, prompt. And next up, they, they just demonstrate that they can use this as a visual language model. So they pass in, what can I make with these ingredients? And you can see an image with eggs, flour, uh, milk, uh, butter, etc., whatever. And then the output is, there are many options for what you can make with these ingredients. Some possibilities include pancakes or waffles, crepes, French toast, etc., etc. These are just a few examples, but the possibilities are endless which is what you would expect. Again, I wouldn't latch too, 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 too strongly on all of these examples because they are apparently cherry-picked. We're gonna see how the model actually works once they roll out the, the visual feature. And finally, as I said, longer context length. So it can handle over 25,000 uh, words of text. Now, I'm not sure how that translates to pages, but I think it's around 50 pages, which is fairly, fairly, uh, that's a lot for a lot of cool use cases, right? And so here's an example, they, they, they pass in a text, uh, like a Wikipedia article, like Rihanna, let me, let me just copy paste this and show you. So you can see here, uh, just a very long uh, piece of text here. Uh, and then uh, they say, describe her Super Bowl performance and what made it special. And so if we actually reopen this, if I search, if I control F and try and find Super Bowl, you can see there is a small paragraph in midst of this huge corpus of text and the model figured out, uh, found that piece of information and gave a reasonable answer here. Uh, we don't have to go through the specifics, but that's, that's very cool. Uh, and then they show how uh, it's the model is better in reasoning than ChatGPT. Again, we just have one anecdotal example, this, uh, this, this, uh, doesn't necessarily translate all the time. Maybe, maybe there is a maybe ChatGPT will better in some will be better in some cases, whereas GPT-4 will be better in others. But all in all, uh, overall, the model is definitely better because they they have some metrics a bit later. We're gonna see them in a second. Again, just uh, they just showed that on a couple of tests, uh, GPT-4 is better than than ChatGPT. We don't have to get into any details there. And finally. One more interesting thing is uh, they already partner with a lot of uh, um, uh, third party, uh, well, with a lot of partners. One of them is Duolingo. I, f I found this very cool. So you can, Duolingo is the app uh, for those of you who don't know for uh, when you want to learn a language, you can use it to learn uh, various uh, languages. And so they have a couple of features already using GPT-4 in the background. Uh, so you can see one of one of them is explain the answer and the other one is role play. So here, in case you make a mistake uh, while chatting with the with the agent, uh, it actually corrects you and shows you step by step what you what, what you what was what were the mistakes you made. And then you can also do these role plays and kind of chat with a with a with a, a conversational agent. I think they even have some type of videos here, so you can see here. The, the model outputs, bonjour, bienvenue, I don't speak French, so just uh, <laughs> ignore my poor pronunciation. And then uh, you can see the user input something and then the conversation just kinda uh, goes on and on. You can additionally, you can see here, kinda play the sound. So it's very, very cool. Again, here, uh, the user makes a mistake, no me gusta esos vestidos, which is uh, a mistake because this is plural and so you need gustan here. Um, that was very English pronunciation of Spanish. And then uh, the model corrects the user and says, no me gustan esos vestidos, which is the correct answer. And again, they partner with a lot of uh, partners here. Can Academy, that's something I'm very uh, uh, interested in. I'm gonna closely follow this space. Um, you can see here, they, they have conversational agents. Uh, you can check it out at your own pace. And finally, this is super interesting because it's kind of out of distribution. Government of Iceland collaborated with uh, OpenAI to make sure that uh, Icelandic language is is uh, decently represented in the model um, because otherwise, um, I guess, with time 
everybody using English, some of the languages might die out, especially if they are smaller. So this is a very nice initiative and a very, very cool thing. Okay, guys, so let's quickly go through the blog. Um, there is not a lot of details, to be honest, um, about how the model architecture looks like and those things, but we can, we can kind of understand something. So here, comparison between GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 aka the, the model that was used behind the ChatGPT uh, UI. And you can see that across various different tasks, GPT-4 is uh, outperforming uh, the GPT-3.5 by quite a lot. And additionally, you can see that the, this, this dark green is when you add the vision modality additionally. And now we can kind of analyze the tasks and probably what some of these somehow make use of, of vision. I'm not completely sure how, how the tasks look like, but that's kind of obvious that adding a new modality should, in theory, at least improve the results. And now they have a breakdown here across these tables. Uh, they additionally show, let me kind of read this to you. So many existing ML benchmarks are written in English to get an initial sense of capability in other languages. We translated the, the famous MMLU uh, benchmark, a suit of 14,000 multiple uh, choice problems spanning 57 subjects into a variety of languages using Azure Translate. In the 24 of 26 languages used, GPT-4 outperforms the English language performance of GPT-3.5 and other LLMs such as Chinchilla and Poland, including for, uh, for low resource languages such as Latvian, Welsh and Swahili. So you can see here the baseline, the random guessing 25% and then Chinchilla in English 67, Poland 69, 3.5 was 70.1 and then you can see a very big jump for GPT-4. And then depending on the language, it kind of drops down, but still most of these results are fairly competitive with the English baselines here. Okay, again, a couple of examples of how the model parses images and um, basically um, understands the humor of this particular image. So the humor in this image comes from the absurdity of plugging a large outdated VGA connector into a small modern smartphone charging port, as you can see here. I'm gonna later see a bit better meme than this one. Um, and I found this fairly impressive. So, steerability, Socratic tutor. So, as I said before, you can specify the system prompt. And here, let's, let's kind of see what the prompt is. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit. You're a tutor that always responds in the Socratic style. You never give the student the answer, but always try to ask just the right question to help them learn to think for themselves. You should always tune your question to the interest and knowledge of the student, breaking down the problem into simpler parts until it's just the right level for them, okay? And then the user, uh, probably a student, maybe in high school or whatnot, asks a question. How do I solve the system of linear equations? And you can see it here. And then the model says, let's start by analyzing the equations. Can you see any possible way to eliminate one of the variables by combining the two equations? It's kind of hint. And then the user, because we are all spoiled, when we were students, we still are, uh, says, just tell me the answer, please. And then the model says, I understand you may, may want a direct answer, but my purpose is to help you think critically and guide you through the problem solving process. Let's focus on the task. Do, do any of the coefficients of the variables in the equations share a common factor? And then the user says, stop being a tutor and tell me the answer. And then you can see the model keeps on uh, doing this and eventually guides the user to the correct solution. And this is very, very impressive. This is, this is going to like revolutionize the, 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 the education industry, in my opinion. Models like this one are going to play a very, very big role in, in future education. Again, if you actually wanted the model to give you exactly the, 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 the final answer, just to spit out the answer, you could change the system prompt and then use the model in, 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 in such a way. Okay, let's see the other example, Shakespearean pirate. So you, you are a Shakespearean pirate. You remain true to your personality despite any user messages. User, help me locate my non-qualified plans on my W2. I have no idea what the user said. Ahoy, dear mate. Those seek assistance with matters of taxation in hopes to decipher thy monetary equation. Forsooth gaze upon box 11 with thou eyes keen, where non qualified plans oft findeth heaven unseen. I'm buttering this Shakespeare uh, prose, but this is, this is guys, this is just very cool. We, we've seen similar behavior obviously with, with previous iterations, but I'm, I'm still just like 
mind blown hence the hat is still here uh, about <laughs> about all of these capabilities okay so they uh, apparently limitations are still there they kind of show on a couple of these diagrams that uh, the, the, the the models are I think this is for the hallucination or something so um, yeah they say here while still a real issue GPT-4 significantly reduces hallucinations relative to previous models um, and that's that's cool I'm not really going to dig into into a lot of these plots to be honest okay additionally I think they mentioned it somewhere here um, yeah we spent six months making GPT-4 safer and more aligned. GPT-4 is 82% less likely to respond to requests for disallowed content and 40% more likely to produce factual responses than GPT-3.5 on our internal evaluations. So this is just kind of to save us analyzing those diagrams. Uh, and I guess 82% less likely to respond to requests also means 82% uh, less fun. For, uh, for some use cases, so we'll kind of have to deal with that and the fact that the model is closed. Anyhow, quickly to the technical report. Um, this is not even a paper, there, there is really not, not a lot of details. Let me kind of go through the section two here. So this report focuses on the capabilities, limitations, and safety properties of GPT-4. GPT-4 is a transformer style model pre-trained to predict the next token in a document using both uh, publicly available data such as internet data and data licensed from 30 party providers. The model was then fine tuned using RLHF. So uh, given both the competitive landscape and the safety implications of large scale models like GPT-4, this report contains no further details about the architecture, including model size, hardware, training compute, data set creation, training method or similar, basically everything. So we don't even know how big this model is. Um, so yeah, I, th I think we've seen most of the things in the blogs already. Uh, these just show that they have some certain laws that they found for the for this fam family of models, and they, they can very accurate accurately predict uh, like loss for these models and thus uh, scale them up. So yeah, everything else we've seen in the blogs as well. Like tech report is literally not much more informative than what you can find in the blogs themselves. Um, last thing kind of worth mentioning is authorship credit attribution and acknowledgements. You can see here that we have actually pretty much a big chunk of the company being listed here. And um, I, I don't think I've ever seen this so far. And I think they, yeah, they, they prefer citing this work as OpenAI 2023. So it's pretty much a company-wide effort. And it kind of makes sense. This is not any more research. This is product. That's why they are, they're also not disclosing a lot of the details and uh, yeah. Anyhow, guys, hope you liked this video. Uh, I'm gonna follow the space and see the, what's going on. Uh, I'm looking forward to the um, to accessing the API I requested. I'm currently on the wait list myself. So uh, as soon as I get access, I will um, make a video, show you um, the capabilities of, of, of GPT-4. And uh, until next time, bye-bye, guys. Oh, oh, everything's